Welcome to the online demo for FireM Integrate Meshing of Multiple Valve Lifts. Let me introduce myself. My name is Andreas Diemert. I'm analysis engineer for Fire and I work in the application fields of in cylinder flow, general purpose CFD, and industrial applications. In this session, you will get an introduction to the frame poly mesher with special focus to multiple valve lift meshing. We will explain also the preparatory work and the required selections and we are practicing the meshing in an online demo. The key features of the FAME poly are stated as follows. Polyhedral volume mesh, it's a simple setup and a fast execution. It allows to create multiple hexahedron boundary layers and gives a basic and advanced user mode for the setup. In order to set up multiple valve lifts, only three additional selections are required to set up the meshing process. These selections are non-moving, buffer and moving selection. Beside these selections and the standard selections, no further preparation is required. And now we move to the online demonstration. We start the session by double-clicking on the FireM icon on the simulation desktop. We change to CAD tab and start with the import of the surface mesh. The surface mesh contains already the necessary selections for movement and in the next step we repeat the procedure by importing the edge mesh. Before starting the meshing procedure it is recommended to save the project. And then we can start the multiple valve lift meshing by switching to automatic meshing. And the appropriate tool for multiple valve lift meshing is the new port mesher. In the input settings, we specify the surface mesh and we select the edge mesh. Afterwards, by pressing analyze button, the tool automatically finds the correct direction of the valve axis. This is possible because the correct selections have been applied during the preparatory work. Only the input of the initial valve position requires the manual input from the user. To continue with the movement setup, the different valve positions are added to a list. Entering the current valve lift position, the tool assumes that both valves have the same position but it is also possible to specify a valve lift for each valve individually. To move the valves into the desired valve position, just press Create all moved surfaces and the tool automatically moves the valves to the correct position. In the next step, we prepare the setup for the meshing process. Therefore, we select New Poly Mesher and Edit and automatically the setup window for the mesher opens. There is no need to specify surface or edge mesh as it is automatically linked to the basic mode. We just have to press analyze and the tool automatically checks whether the edge fits to the surface. If the edge passed the fitting check, we can input the cell size, we will specify the boundary layer thickness and we specify also the regions or partitions for the inlet boundary and the outlet boundary. After finishing the setup, we can then switch back to the easy port measure. Back to the port measure, the meshing job simply can be started by pressing run. We select all three toggle switches to start the meshing jobs simultaneously. In the simulation tab, under job overview, we can monitor the progress of the meshing job. Depending on the selected target cell size, the meshing job will take a bit of time. When the meshing job is finished, we will switch back to the automatic meshing tab and load the created meshes. Using the transparent option and loading the mesh one after another, we can display the different valve lifts in one viewer. With the cutting box option and the clipping plane, 
We can check also the structure of the mesh around the valve seats. Features such as connecting edges are also easily detected. Let us now summarize the easy board. In a robust workflow you can create multiple valve lifts using a single mesh setup to get multiple mesh results and it offers an easy to use GUI. In case of further questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much for your attention.